hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been we are going to look at something on autocad we want to show you how you can automatically label your dimensions on autocad let's say you design the layout or maybe just a boundary survey or maybe any type of survey you have and you want to um, label the dimensions this um, tutorial or this video will guide you on how you are going to go about it faster and um, easier right Good. so thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are a returning viewer thanks for always checking up on us so there's a lips um, file or yeah or a lips um, application on autocad we are going to use for this particular tutorial now um we have our boundary so as we said earlier your your data can be just a boundary like this or maybe you've subdivided this boundary to different lots or different plots as the case may be so you have it like this and you want to automatically label the dimensions so the first thing now is that we need to what we need to load that application we are going to use so we use what the shortcut ap or you go to manage and then under manage okay let's escape this you go to manage then under manage you come to load application right good or you just type um, ap on the command button then you have what upload right good upon accessing the the file which is the lips file we have on our pc it's actually saved on a folder so we just do what click on it then we do what we load right good yours might give you let's say a warning message if you want to load it immediately or you want to like you want to load it even if it's not coming from a trusted source or something so just load it temporarily just ensure that you load it so we click on load you can see loaded and um, successfully right successfully loaded so we can do what we can close so we've actually loaded the lips now there was a challenge we had while we were trying to come up with this content the challenge we had was that when we started using the um, the AutoCAD for the exercise we had issues loading the automatic dimension what do I mean by that when we typed AD enter there was an error message or let's not call it an error message but we were having a message that says add must be called from within another command like add which is the add dimension must be called from within another command so we had to troubleshoot and we realized that for you to fix that if by adventure you encounter that upon typing ad enter you should just type undefined under your command button yeah just type a undefined then impute add that means you're trying to undefine add or something that's the add dimension then hit enter so when you do that you can now reload what your ad lips and it should work if you encounter that challenge this is how you are going to go about it but if you don't encounter that you are good to go we've actually loaded the application now we want to load how see how it's going to work or not on the on the plot we have on the screen here so we have what just need to hit enter then the command is for us to what the instruction is for us to select object so we are going to select what is our object right so yours might not be this yours can be four corner maybe five corner maybe different plots within your boundary or whatever the case may be right good so you just do what select all of them then you eat what enter good now they've been labeled however the fonts are very very small and you still need to do a few words adjustments or should we call it modifications you still need to do a few modifications because you don't want some of these um should we call it um call outs yeah you don't want some of these call outs and then you also need to increase what increase the font size and so many other stuff maybe you don't want it to four decimal places right maybe you just need to two decimal places or two decimal places or maybe three decimal places or maybe one decimal place so these are some other things you can do so for us to be able to do that 
we just go to what the dim style which is what the dimension style remember we've added the dimension automatically they are actually on the drawing but because of the size is very very slim or it's quite small you might not be able to see it. so that's why we are going to what the dimension style for us to be able to modify the style of the dimension right so you click on enter so we actually understand that you go to what you go to modify right good all right let's come to line first now all of these call out lines we don't need them these are extension lines or we okay or, yeah the dimension lines and the extension lines we don't need them so we have to suppress them we have to suppress the dimension lines and we also have to suppress what the extension lines we only need the labels to be on the what on the boundary right we don't need those um, extension lines or maybe those dimension lines that cause out the dimension we don't need them then the next thing is let's see if we can come to symbols and arrows let's change this to none right good then what do we have again center mark okay are we doing anything else here not sure let's come to text now on that text let's come to text style because i love changing my font style so let's change the font to something like um, times new roman right good then the font style i prefer using bold italics right so we can just apply that that's your preference anyway if you want to do that we can just apply that then what else should we change the color to something like red that would be too shouty right let's make it yellow that's fair enough then um, what else good now the text placement the vertical let's put it above the line right good let's put it above the line so that um, it doesn't um the placement will not be on our boundary to be above our boundary then the text alignment let's align with the dimension line instead of horizontal so if the dimension line is going up or maybe it's slanted or maybe whatever angle the dimension is so that's how the the text alignment will be right good then let's see fit okay let's use a scale of because that um, the, the text size was too small should we make this 10 maybe we can make it 5 or 10 depending on what you want i hope 10 will not be too loud let's make it 8 and see so let's make that 8 what else are we doing fit options if there isn't enough room no text placement over dimension line with either beside that let's leave it that um, beside the dimension line let's say then let's come to okay should we say okay before we go to primary unit let's go to primary unit then decimal right good now the precision we need it to three decimal places as we've said okay no let's make it two decimal places right good two decimal places then the unit format let's say degree minute and seconds the precision will also be what degree minute and seconds if we are going to label the bearings right good agreement and seconds then what else what else what else we've done something here right good we've also done something here right good so let's see alternate unit non tolerance none so upon maybe making some of these uh, modifications let's see how it now applies to our dimension right so we now close good so most of those um lines are no longer there and even the the eight we used was not as big as i feared so let's change that eight to something like um, 15 or so right i want the text to be bold enough for legibility so let's come back to text is it under text or fit let's ensure it's under fit let's make this 15 and see how that goes and let's say okay and let's see close good this is fair enough so this is how you use what this particular um autocad lips yeah l-i-s-p-s -S, yeah. autocad lisp yeah good this is how you use this particular autocad lips for what 
automatic dimension so with this now you've actually saved yourself the stress of uh, maybe typing the, the dimensions manually and if yours is a layout and maybe you have some challenges with the with the placement of your dimensions you can always come back to what you can always come back to the dimension style manager go to modify and then you play around with them some of the what some of the styles that you have here and you should be good to go because actually it saves you a lot of stress and it also enhances or yeah it increases your productivity so we believe we've been able to show you yeah we able to show you how you can use this particular leaves so link to downloading these leaves will be on the yeah description section of this particular video where you can access the link to downloading these slips and loading it on your own AutoCAD. We used to have um, some comments on the comment section that this is not AutoCAD. Or, especially most times I just call it AutoCAD. So Civil 3D or AutoCAD or whatever the case is. So for you to load it on your AutoCAD or Civil 3D or whatever the case is. But I think it did not work on my 2007. I don't know why. I tried to run it on 2007, it did not work, so I used 2018, right? Good, so I used 20. So you can also check it out and let's see how it goes with you. So we have been able to exhaust, as we said earlier, how you can use what this um, AD, which is what automatic dimension list on AutoCAD. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've provided solution to this particular solving problem. If you have any question, if you have any comment, suggestion, or contribution, you can leave it on the comment section, and we are going to attend to you as soon as possible. So until we see you on our next video, ensure you keep staying safe and keep doing the best as a geomatic engineer and a surveyor or a GIS expert. Bye.